It's the second time the NFU has been at the BBC Good Food Show, but it's the first time we've linked up with other industry partners under the umbrella of Assured Food Standards, the owner of the Red Tractor brand. We're here with Eplex, Bpex, ABN and the Potato Council to make sure we get some really strong messages across to the 100,000 expected visitors to this show over the next five days. You can see the farm show here talking about animal welfare, environmental protection, country of origin and traceability key messages that we know the Red Tractor conveys to our customers. It's really important that I think the industry comes together to put its, all its efforts to promote the benefits of Red Tractor Farm Assurance. On the stand we've got the farmer side, we've got the retail side, we've got a kitchen next door demonstrating with the aid of farmers who have given their time of all of the five days of the show to explain to consumers, our customers, first hand the effort that goes into producing Red Tractor food. This is about assuring consumers that our products are produced to the highest standards. It's fantastic that again, as I say, the industry comes together to promote Red Tractor standards here at the BBC Good Food Show. My name is Aaron Grace. Um, I'm from Rude Boy Food and Market Kitchen. I'm here today in NEC in Birmingham, the Good Food Show. And I'm doing um, lots of demonstrations. I'm doing uh, for Eblex and Quality Beef for Lamb. Okay, so basically we're pushing, you know, the red tractor sign. We're pushing Quality Beef for Lamb, farm assured. Okay, that you know you're getting the good stuff. Okay, and it's really looked after. Um, so we're doing some great recipes. We've got some steak and blue cheese. We're doing some lovely gnocchi with some great potatoes. And what's really good about these messages is that we have over the next five days farmers who've given them their time to meet with the consumers, our customers, and explain the whole story from farm to plate. So I'm looking forward to a really exciting five days here with the BBC Good Future.